Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. Jesus Christ in human flesh, you practiced heaven's care. Besieged by need, betrayed by greed, sustained by faith and prayer. Before you spoke, before you healed, before you broke the bread, in God's house in the quiet place, you fell. God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, and the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, 
and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we We affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. I shall praise your name to the heights, for you have lifted me up, away from the gloating of my enemies. I cried to you, God, and you healed me. You raised me from depths of despair. From death to life you deliver me. Sing a psalm to God, you faithful people. Give thanks to God's holy name. God's anger lasts for a moment. God's grace lasts for a lifetime. Tears may linger through the night, but joy comes in the morning. I felt secure to myself. I doubt I shall ever be shaken. Like a strong mountain, you protected me. But But then then you hid your face, and and I was filled with dismay. I cried to you, my God. I pleaded with you for mercy. What can be gained by my death if if I disappear into oblivion? Can dust of a heartfelt praise or tell of your faithful love? Hear, O God, and take pity. Come and be my helper. You You have have turned turned my my mourning to dancing. You You have clothed me with great joy. I will will sing to you without ceasing. My My God, God, I will praise you forever. Listen now for the word and wisdom of God. The reading today is from the Gospel according to John, chapter 13, reading verses 21 to 32. As he was speaking with the disciples, Jesus became very troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of the disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while he was reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When he had gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God.
God of Jew and Gentile, walking the streets of Jerusalem. Your life is at risk. God of Jew and Gentile, sharing your food and your stories. Your life is at risk. God of Jew and Gentile, waiting for someone to betray you. Your life is at risk. Thank God for all those who make extravagant gestures of love before it is too late. Pray for the wisdom to know when such sacrifice is called for, to know that the value of money is what it can do, not what it is. Pray for the grace to take risks, to give without counting the cost, not to worry about security, to trust God's promise. Pray for the humility to know that one person's extravagance may be another's sacrificial gift, another's wisdom. Pray for the grace to believe that security lies not in stocks and bonds and bank balances, but in the God who responds to a generous spirit. Amen. And on the fifth day of the month, we pray for Christian education and retreat centres in our own countries. And we pray for the following countries, the lands and their peoples. Malta, Italy, Vatican City, San Marino, France, Monaco, Spain, Portugal and Andorra. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Fife. Morag Balfour, Carol Morton, Robert Stewart and Ian White. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in Scotland, North East. O oh God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we preserve with each other sincere charity and peace and, if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continues still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We, we will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of Love. God in community, holy and one. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. Over my head, I hear music in the air. 
Oh. 